Okay, I'm gonna do a video blog. I ain't done one in a while. I know what I said. I'm gonna do some more, but then I never do some more. And I'm gonna do them quicker, but I don't do them quicker. So, whatever. It's a blog. And, uh, what's been going on? Not a lot. Just had the 4th of July. God bless the soldiers. Uh, past, present, future, all of them. Uh, people like you guys that let me do the stuff I do. And everybody else. So, it's just amazing. Uh, I just went to the dentist today, so my teeth are kind of hurting. All I did was clean them, but I guess I didn't get like it back under the gums very good when I've been doing my teeth here lately, the last few months. And so there was stuff under the gums, kind of. So they was digging all that crap out. Oh, God, it hurt. There was blood and just a freaking mess. And I do have a cavity, one over here, one over here. They got to take care of, so I'm not looking forward to that. Uh, let's see. I went... A couple days ago, had uh, breakfast with a uh, breakfast lunch brunch, I guess, with Josie and Whitney, and it was a blast. We was probably there for like an hour and a half uh, at Denny's, just talking and playing with Whitney and everything. And then I went back to Josie's house. She had to talk on the phone and take care of some stuff. So I was there for a couple three hours, and I just played with Whitney. Oh, it was amazing. It's so much fun. But I, I let her play with my phone iPhone, iPhone 4, and she accidentally somehow deleted the texting icon. You know, and if you if you know anything about iPhones, when you want to delete an icon, you hold the button when the icon's in, they start shaking, jiggling, and little X's pop up, you can delete them, right? Well, on some icons that are dedicated iPhone icons, you can't delete them. But somehow, she like magically found a way to make it go bye-bye. And then I come home, and I'm like, you know what? No big deal. I couldn't figure it out. Apple was closed or something. It was a holiday. It's 4th of July. So I'm like, you know what? I'll just I'll just re uh, restore my phone, you know, because I had just done it a few days ago. I backed it up, so I plug it in, and I go to back it up. I pick, it says June, uh, it says June 29th. I'm like, okay, yeah, that's fine. That's just like five, six days ago. No big deal. I'm going to lose like... Maybe two pictures, and I don't even worry about them because they were just stupid pictures, and blah 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 blah. You know, everything else was fine. Okay, uh, I the only pictures that I that I took in a uh, like Whitney that day, I sent them to Josie so she'd have them, and no big deal. So I go to do it, and then it comes to find out that this whole time my phone hasn't been backing it up right. It wasn't in a log. The June 29th was June 29th. Of 2010, not 2011. That's the day I bought the phone. I restored it to over a year ago. I've lost everything. And I was like trying to figure it out. We have like four other phones on the thing. And I'm trying to go through there. Some of them got the same. It's just weird. It's confusing. And I then I accidentally restored it to my brother's phone. I accidentally restored it to Jamie's phone. Then I restored it back to the original thing. I had to, at one point, I had to wipe it because I was restoring it to too many things. So I had to wipe the whole damn thing clean and go back to the, what it was a year ago, the day I bought it. And I'm trying to get a hold of Apple. I got a hold of Apple. I have um, a warranty for the extended warranty because the one year warranty's up. But I was having trouble because they switched people who sold it. So when I tried to activate it before my warranty was up, it wouldn't let me. I had to get the receipt and I had to fax stuff to them. It's just been a mess. Good news is they said once they get the fax, they register my Apple Care warranty for one more year, then I get called back, and they should be able to help me get my pictures and everything back. If because I have synced it to my computer, they says it's there somewhere. They'll have to help me get those back. So thank God because I had all the Emma's birthday party pictures, all the Whitney's birthday party pictures on there, pictures from Miles, just stuff that I wanted that I'd taken. And I'm like, holy crap! Lesson to be learned. Either don't let children play with your phones, or make sure your shit's backed up right. <clears throat> you know? So, yeah, that's the moral of that story. Um, I've seen Transformers 3. Oh, my God. That's, oh, my God. It is freaking awesome. You should go see it three, no, no, four times. Go see it at least twice. I mean, if you don't see it once, what the hell's wrong with you? Go see Transformers. I saw an IMAX 3D, and it blew my mind. Uh, yeah, it was amazing. There was this whole thing with this Casey something or another. 
Florida girl who killed her kid and they found her innocent, I'm, I'm not even surprised. Because unfortunately we live in a society where the victims are the ones who usually suffer the most. I mean, they're victims when it happens, then they're victims afterwards. Because usually people doing the crimes usually get off. It's crazy. You can kill your kid or you can sexually assault your kid. You can beat the shit out of your kid or just a kid in general. And you get a little bit of probation or nothing. But you get caught with possession or a DUI or something else that's relatively minor compared to what I think murder and child abuse is. And they'll lock your ass up quick, quick as a heartbeat, buddy. Throw your ass in there without even thinking about it. I'm not saying those things are good things and they shouldn't be judged and they shouldn't be, there shouldn't be, you know, penalties for it. But I'm just saying I think child abuse and murder is a little more hardcore and therefore they shouldn't get a, a pass all the time. Another thing. Man, I swear the more the media gets involved in a trial, the less likely they are to serve time. Look at OJ. Look at OJ. That dude walked. You know, I don't know why this case got so much press because so many kids were abused and beaten and murdered. What made this one so special? I mean, I'm not saying it's not special because they all were special. But why did this one get so much press and the other ones no one's ever heard of? You know what? It's just crazy. There's a huge problem with abuse and no one knows it. I see 10 commercials a day for uh, abused animals. I'm lucky if I see one every four days. For abused children. What the fuck is that about? It should be. I'm not saying animals ain't important. But damn it. Children. Little kids should be way more important. Than the dogs. That's just my theory. That's just mine. Holy crap. That girl's hot. Sorry. TV was playing. Hot girl popped up on the screen. And I'm like. Whoa. She was all pale. Had like a reddish hair. Oh. The paler the better. Mmm. Damn near albino would be perfect. But not with white hair. Like albino kind of white, but normal hair. That's hot. And like bluey screen eyes. Yeah. Uh, what else? Uh, I saw Cars 2. Funny, funny. Worth the money. But the fact that I've seen Transformers 3 before I've seen Cars 2 severely hurt Cars 2 because it's going to be hard to beat that. That was amazing. Uh... See, I've been watching a lot of Star Wars lately. I need to get back in and read the books because, man, I'm sucking as a fan lately. Seems like I don't have enough time to do anything anymore. Uh, I mean, the dentist was hot, though. Hot dentist was nice. Hot dentist was nice. Uh, what else? Uh, uh, I don't know. Wow. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm at the, leaving the dentist today, and I see a girl come out of the... Because it's like dentist, doctor's office... There's like all kinds of stuff in this building. I see a girl come out with a newborn baby. This baby probably wasn't more than like two or three weeks old. She walks out. It's wrapped up. I see her kind of unwrap a little bit and check on her. Or him. I couldn't tell. She opens up the front door seat. And she gets in. Starts the car. And I'm thinking, okay, she's just getting in and start the car to get the air on or something. She's going to put the baby in the back or something in the car seat. No. She shuts the door. Holds the baby in her arms in her lap. And starts to drive, and I'm like, hell no, nah. hell no, nah. that, that shit's illegal. I, if she something happens, that, that baby's dead. So I start to follow her. I call the cops. I'm like, look, I'm here, blah blah. And of course, the cops are like, uh, are you following her? Because you shouldn't be following her. You can call him. I'm like, nah, I'm following this chick until someone catches her. I don't care. So they finally, the cops catch up with her. And then I just kind of drive off. But I saw him pull over. I don't know what happened. I didn't stick around. Because, uh, yeah, they was pissing me off. Where they were like, oh, you're not supposed to be following people. That's not your... Shut up, bitch. I'll call if I want. This bitch doing something illegal, I'm going to report it. I don't care. Pisses me off. Well, anyway, that's my almost 10 minutes. So I got to go. Peace.